Hey there, everybody. Uh, this is the 18th edition of Broadway News. Okay, I've missed so much in the last few weeks, so I'm just gonna do some of the more recent reports. Alright. So, uh, in... Well, something happened earlier this week that I should just report on, because I'm such an avid fan of it. Follies opened on Broadway. Uh, I think, I believe, Monday or Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> from what I've seen, it's rave reviews. But the thing that interests me is, like, each review, like, the the critic's favorite is someone different. Sometimes it's Bernadette Peter. Bernadette Peters is the favorite. Sometimes Jan Maxwell. Sometimes Danny Burstein. Sometimes even Ron Raines, who I heard wasn't even that good to begin with. So maybe that's... That surprises me. And Elaine Page is getting, like, mixed reviews. Jane Howdy Shell and Terry White and Mary Beth Peel are all getting great reviews. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a huge hit. Hopefully, there will be so some Tonys. I hope, I'm hoping, some at least some nominations. All right, so what else have I got? There's some other stuff. As you can tell, I have a cold, so going easy today. Alright, uh, this is a little, I think this may have happened last week, but I'm going to report on it anyway. Oh no, it may have happened this week, I think. Uh, Kristen Chenoweth may be coming back to the theater in a, uh, revival of the musical on the 20th century in the role that was originally played by the brilliant Madeline Kahn. And I know that, uh, Madeline Kahn is like Kristen Chenoweth's idol. Like, Madeline Kahn, Burnett Peters, and Dolly Parton are, like, her favorites. Um, so, yeah, this is, like, she's always wanted to do this. And, uh, and I know that she, in the early readings of Young Frankenstein, the musical, she was gonna be the fiancé, the Madeline Kahn role. So, I would have loved to have seen that, because I really, I, although I did really enjoy, even though I didn't see it, I did really enjoy Megan Mullally as the fiancé. I think she should have gotten nominated for a Tony. I think she did a really great job. Um, so yeah, what else is there to talk about? There's gotta be more. Oh, uh, there's gonna be a Drowsy Chaperone film. I, I just, I love the show. Don't get me wrong, I love the show. But I just don't see it as a movie. I, I, I don't know how they're gonna do this as a movie. Uh, but I know that the man in the chair has is going to be Jeffrey Rush, who did it in Australia. So, I, I, I heard he was, like, amazing in this production. So, that's looking, inter that seems interesting to me. But, uh, so, um, now I guess we can count him out of the Les Mis film. Which, by the way, is officially going to star, uh, Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe as your as Valjean and Javert. And Hugh Jackman is coming back to Broadway in his one-man show. Good for him. Nice to see him back on the boards. Singing. Alright, is there anything else? I guess that's all for now, but first, before I go, I just want to tell you a little something on a more personal note. Um, at my school, I go to a performing arts high school, so, uh, not only do we have, like, a school musical, which happens a couple months from now, we also have, at the beginning of the year, a play, like a straight play, and this year, our school is doing Lend Me a Tenor for the play, and I love Lend Me a Tenor, it's like my favorite play ever, and, you know, I'm a sophomore, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get a lead or not, so I auditioned with, my first choice was the bellhop, then Max, and then Saunders. I didn't want to put Tito, because I'm not really a Tito Morelli type. And so I auditioned, I did this model, I did a comedic monologue that went really well, surprisingly. And I, uh, next thing I know, I got called back for all three of those parts that I put down. So, I'm thrilled. I didn't think I did a good job at the, um callbacks, but the thing that, so I thought, I knew I wasn't going to get Saunders, I thought poss maybe the bellhop, or possibly Max, I think I had, a, I thought that I had a better chance of getting the bellhop and Max, and you know, uh, for this show, they're actually doing it, uh, there are going to be two casts, it's, uh, double cast, this is the first year they're doing this, usually they have a regular cast and an understudy cast, 
they're going to have two equal casts that are, um, uh, get three performances each. So, yesterday I found out that I had been casted as one of the Maxes. I could not believe it. I was shocked. Shocked. And the great thing is, I got, to, I, it's a great part, it's a great show, I know who else is in my little cast, they're, I'm working with a, some great people, and even in the other cast, who I'll probably have to spend some time with as well, great people, I get to be with a lot of just great actors, I'm really excited for this. So I'll let you know how that goes, I think performances are in early November, so I'll let you go, I'll let you know how that will go. Alright, goodbye for now.